Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we have so much Monstar news to talk about that I actually split this into two videos. So first up, we finally have the reveal of the Draculaura doll exclusive to the Monster Ball truck place that we finally have stock footage of G3 Cat Noir out of her box. And then we also have a reveal of the new Vanity playset set for Cleo with an exclusive doll as well and more. So stay tuned and let's get into okay, it. Okay, starting off with this brand new playset set here. It's the G3 Vanity playset, including a exclu exclusive Cleo Denial doll. So yeah, this is a very fancy. It looks very cute. Obviously very, you know, Egyptian. Like it has a flair. It's like very um, in her style. But I mean, compared to the original one, it just, it doesn't compare. <laughs> the original one, um, they both have little stools and like the actual vanity and some accessories. Um, the only difference here is the new one has an exclusive doll doll and i feel like if they had instead used that budget that went in went into the doll they, they should have used that budget to actually expand and um elaborate on the actual playset itself because i feel like between the two it's very clear that the original one just has more details it has it's more creative when you look at it it's just it looks more interesting um and it's more elaborate you know it looks better uh the new one is just more simplified like it really just looks much more of like a basic version um, of the original one so it's still fine it does its job and it does come with a doll and speaking of the actual doll doesn't look amazing like i feel like they should have really just scrapped the doll and used that budget for the actual vanity place to make it better looking because like the actual doll doesn't look great like she is reusing a lot of accessory pieces like the head wrap the, the earrings the alpha pieces are not like really great um the shoes are probably like recolors so there's nothing really unique about this Clio aside from maybe like the hair color or like the makeup. Um, but like the, even like the alpha pieces are, they're not really, they're not amazing. Like they're really simple, very basic. And you can really tell that they really just added in a Clio doll part of this playset for whatever reason. Like she was an afterthought for sure. But all in all, it's still a good playset i guess the vanity has like a lot of accessories it has a mirror um it does have a chair you know it does feel complete with a doll so like yeah there's that the original one did not have a doll but um you just yeah the original one just looks better like it's just not even a competition but it's it, it it's good it's fine it does its job it's there you know? next we have g3 caddy's stock photos now previously we had received the stock photos of her in the box front and back and now we finally have the actual stock photos of the doll herself so here she is uh she looks really cute like i think her face how can you say no to that face she is giving like i love the expression on her face greeting the side glance it's just giving so much character so much personality um i like the eyebrows i love the baby hairs in pink i love the little diamonds on her cheeks i like the glossy and like effect that they did with the gradient going deeper in the middle and like it fa it fades on the outer corners of her lips like i don't know how they do that but it looks so cute so natural again that glossy finish giving me life um the ponytail a rianca moment yes living for it and then we have even some added texture with some braids mixed in as well um so i think like the hairstyle and the hair is also super long like in a ponytail so i wonder how long it would be when you take it out of the ponytail um and i also wonder what hair type she will have hopefully not paul Polly, please not Polly. I hope it's just like um nylon, right? Yeah, so um, but let's see. Uh so yeah, I think the face and the hair are great. I love it, I would not change a thing. But then we have the outfit now. Previously in the leaks and prototypes, the outfits the outfit versions never looked amazing. Um, they always looked very um, they just they were never helping her case. Cause you know, obviously people are very people have opinions about G3 Caddy's body type and her outfit and just like it just never really yeah, like the outfit never helped her case out because people were already onto her because of her new body type. So um, and now with the final version of Caddy, that one that we're gonna get as a doll in stores, um, the outfit still doesn't look amazing like it's better it's better 
but it's not amazing. Um, like the sleeves, the puffy sleeves. I like the texture of the sleeves, but like it, uh, like it's like vinyl or something. Like it looks cool. Um, but I feel like she could have used a motor jacket or something. Like that would have been so cool. Or maybe like a long um, trench coat. You know what? I think I'm just getting Kitty K vibes because they're both so Ariana coated. So I feel like if they would have gone a more Kitty K route, you know, OMG Kitty K doll, by the way, um, I feel like that would have been that would have looked better um maybe even some shorts instead of like a dress with like an overskirt piece i don't know but not this so i do like the necklace the 13 with like the 13 obviously it means a lot because it's like a unlucky number right and then we have the shattered glass print on her dress in silver and um I like that reference and throwback in Easter egg, right? Like, that's cute. But I don't love the asymmetrical cut at the end. And I don't love the pink panel on the other side. Like, I just don't love the actual cut and silhouette of the dress. The belt is just too high up. So, yeah, it's not great. It's not perfect, but it's fine. Like, I don't know why they gave her this outfit. It's just, it doesn't look great. It's, it, And weirdly... It doesn't flatter her at all like it just makes her look even i feel like worse than she actually looks like you know because i feel like the actual doll will be really great um but the dress just kind of like doesn't do her any favors and i feel like this also gives people who already hate her more ammunition to tear her down which is really sad because you know people obviously have opinions and that's fine but like there's a there's a line where once you cross it it's just got, like you're just going into rude territory like people are just gonna be people are just being plain mean for like no reason like and i really it really sucks because like yeah i can see she's not perfect like the outfits the outfit is not perfect but like um you know i can still say that she's fun. like she's a good doll like you know she's not a bad doll and like if you don't like her then you don't have to buy her you know like it's just ugh, you know whatever people are gonna be people and sometimes people just have really um you know rude things to say and you know this is part of like the community i guess i don't know but yeah so i think she's cute i, I like the boots maybe they're a little bit too, too chunky but like i think they could have used some more silver details but like yeah they're fine the accessories are fine um the pet is fine so yeah i like the chunky i like the bigger tail that's cute right um and yeah i think she's a, i think she's a good doll she's definitely like serving in a face uh the hair is pretty i do like some of the prints and textures for the outfit and the boots um but overall the design of and the silhouette of the and the cut of the dress i feel like could have been improved and um yeah hopefully for future caddy dolls which we will hopefully get um you know she will have better outfits but yeah for now for what it is i feel like this is a good doll and it's definitely a good um g3 caddy doll next up we have finally the reveal of the last school to join the monster ball lineup it's drucky laura and yes she is exclusive to the truck playset here unfortunately that means that her design also got the short end of the stick unfortunately yeah she doesn't look any 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 way close to the other four ghouls um in the monster ball lineup like they don't even look the same like they look so different like the designs on the four ghouls are so so extravagant like over the top and then jackie laura she's just kind of like there she just kind of like got the memo late she got a different memo or something or she didn't get the memo i don't know what happened but like she got different information um and she does not look like she matches at all i mean aside for like the headband which like they all have one um if you took that away and like the cowboy boots that she's wearing she doesn't match at all like i think the boots and the headband are like the only things that kind of like loosely tie her in with the other ghouls designs like in any in any way um shape or form unfortunately yeah so because everything else about her outfit looks so bare it's so bare minimum it is so basic and i mean yeah that's because she's exclusive she's a place at exclusive and as you know inf infamously um with place at exclusive dolls usually they are never really um the star like they don't really get the best treatment their outfits are never really like the best um i mean just like we saw previously like just before in this video we talked about the cleo vanity doll she her outfit is also like so basic and like this Drakilora, you know unfortunately 
her outfit also doesn't look amazing. So like that's because they're place it exclusives. That's because their budget, the budget that went into these dolls, um, was less than it was actually for the actual you no. Know, but uh, place it because the doll is not the focus here. It's the place it. So that's where most of the budget goes into. It's not the doll. Um, so the focus is not the doll or her design. It's the place it. So yeah, I don't know. It's just so. Oh my god. It's just so sad because like the uh, previous artwork that had leaked looked a little bit promising like it still looked very basic but like at least she had fishnets she had, she had like a black top on she had shorts on um and now here like it just looks different she looks like so stripped down like there's like such there's nothing left like she's just wearing like a skirt um a skirt with like a very simple generic print and i i, I would not be surprised if like the skirt and in a top were like one piece like they were connected like that would not shock me at all but then the top yeah it's like a bow on the front and like the headpiece like i mentioned it's like the only thing that loosely ties her with the other ghouls um her theme for the crown seems to be like roses like why okay um and then she has like a a green choker green makeup black lipstick the hair is so basic as well the boots are like cowboy boots like what okay so yeah she's very basic so yeah she doesn't look she's not really like anything special unfortunately but um she's still cute and i mean obviously the place it is the main attraction here it's the truck uh, it opens up on each side on the inside um yeah on each side on the inside when you open it up there's like a different um scene like you can turn it into like a like a dj booth or you can turn it into like a little uh food with table and like it's a food truck um so yeah there's different things you can do uh but even to place it like it looks very bare so i would say this is not like a very like yeah this is like what 60 bucks or something yeah she, this is not worth it if you're buying this only for the doll not worth it i'm sorry and lastly we do have some more pictures on the recently found crew productions two pack of deuce and cleo uh and they are very faithful again i think the biggest change for like deuce is that he has like darker lips and they have more of like a glossy shine on the crew productions and for cleo um it seems to be like the, the lips are like a different shape almost and then we have um the bangs i think the bangs were done differently because on the crew productions they seem to be longer and more like plastered down to her forehead uh, whereas unlike with the original one um they were a little bit more separate they were like a little bit loose you know like a little bit wild but not really you know like they were still fixed but like not glued to the forehead uh so yeah i think but overall like if you didn't get the original one then this is this is basically like you're getting the original one uh with some minor differences from the box from the box design as well like they're basically the same and most recently at not royalty brats found the gulia and abby reproductions in the mattel store in california i believe there was a limit of one per person of course as per usual with all these new releases and just a reminder the series one restock is coming out in september and the crew productions series two are coming out before that in sometime in april and they're going to be available also on amazon both of these series will be available on amazon whenever they do drop so yeah they're going to be available soon whenever they drop this year it's happening hopefully they will be more accessible also for international fans and that's going to do it for part one and stay tuned for part two coming shortly after this video but i hope you all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and consider becoming a member today to support our channel if you're able to and and of course, so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way and keeping you up to date with all the old tea you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope this next time stay peachy. Kisses.